Hello and welcome. Today let's talk about multiple price level feature in Tally Prime. If you are thinking what these multiple price levels are, let me explain in simple words for you. Let's say you are a manufacturer of any product, say smartphones. The distribution of phones would be managed by your wholesalers at the top followed by retailers and consumers like you and me down the line. If you are a wholesaler, then you would be selling to your retailers. The price at which you sell to your wholesalers may not be same as the one that you charge your consumers. In other words, you would be selling at lower profit margin to your wholesalers while your margin would be high when you sell to your consumers. So you will have to maintain multiple price lists for different type of customers. For a single product that is smartphone, you will be required to maintain multiple price levels, one for wholesaler, the other for consumer and so on. This means you have to select the right price and prepare invoice according to the applicable price level. Otherwise, you will end up charging the price of a wholesaler to a consumer and thus incur loss. We can automate this process in Tally so that we don't have to refer to multiple price lists and manually key in the price while preparing the invoice. This automation would minimize errors and it would help us speed up the process of invoice preparation and thus save our time. In this video, first let's define multiple price levels for wholesaler, retailer and customer. Next categorize these buyers as wholesalers, retailers or customers. Then we'll create tax invoice and see how this price level feature functions in Tally. In the end, we'll see how to revise the price list that is increase or decrease the price according to our needs. From gateway of Tally, click on company, select features. In the inventory section, set yes to these three options that is maintain inventory is set to yes. Integrate accounts with inventory is set to yes. Enable multiple price levels is also set to yes. Press yes and accept. From main screen of Tally, select create price levels. Let us now create different price levels. First price level would be for wholesalers. So enter wholesaler, then next retailer. And the third price level would be for end customers. Press enter and accept. From the master creation screen, select price list stock group, select the name of the stock group, here I have selected phones, select the price level, here I have selected wholesaler, enter the date in the applicable from field, here I have entered 1st January 2022, this means the price that we are configuring here is for wholesalers and the price would apply from 1st January 2022, press enter. In the particulars field, select the name of the item. Here I have selected smartphone. Enter the quantity. Here I am going to set the price for quantity less than 25 numbers and the rate would be 24,000. If you offer any discount on this rate, you may specify the same here. Cost price is automatically picked up from purchase vouchers. Then the next slab would be from 25 numbers to less than 50 numbers that is the price that we are going to set for quantity from 25 to 49 numbers that would be 23,000 then from 50 onwards the rate would be 22,000. You may set the price for all the stock items in the group in a similar way. Select end of list, press yes and accept. Now let us set the price level for retailers. Here the stock group name would be same phones, price level would be retailer and applicable from would be same 1st January 2022. Select the name of the item in the particulars column. Here it is smartphone and now I am going to set the price for quantity from 1 to 4 and the rate would be 26,000. Specify discount if any. Then for quantity from 5 to 9 numbers the price would be 25,500. From 10 numbers onwards the price would be 25,000. Select end of list, press yes and accept. Now let us set the price for customers. Again the stock group name would be same. Select customer in the price level field. Enter the date in the applicable from field. 
select the name of the item smartphone here i'm not going to specify any quantitative price so i'm going to set a single price of 28000 rupees enter the percentage discount that you would offer here i'm leaving it blank select end of list press yes and accept from gateway of tally select alter select the name of the wholesaler here it is pqr wholesalers in the field pricing level applicable select wholesaler press yes and accept let us now select the name of the retailer here it is xyz retailers and here the pricing level applicable is set to retailer press yes and accept then let us select the name of the customer and pricing level applicable is set as customer press yes and accept our initial configuration is now complete let's now create a sales voucher from gateway of tally select vouchers click on sales invoice number is automatically generated if you would like to know how to automatically generate invoice number you may consider watching my earlier video i'll leave the link above click on date and enter the date of sale here i have entered 1st january 2022 select name of the party first let us select the wholesaler that is pqr wholesalers here enter dispatch details accept party details select name of sales ledger here it is sales local at 18 percent enter the name of the item here i have selected smartphone enter the tracking number here i'm selecting not applicable enter the quantity rate would be automatically filled select end of list amount is also automatically filled if you notice here the price level is set as wholesaler press enter select the name of the tax ledger central gst and state gst tax amount would be automatically filled if you would like to know how to create customer account sales ledger name of the item tax ledgers etc you may consider watching my earlier video the link in the top right corner select the type of reference here i have selected new reference name field is automatically filled enter credit days here i am leaving it blank press ctrl a and accept enter the narration if you would like to press enter and accept if you would like to print the tax invoice select the option print and print the invoice now let us create sales voucher for the retailer again the invoice number is automatically generated select the name of the retailer it is xyz retailers here enter dispatch details accept party details select sales ledger name of item tracking number if any enter the quantity here i have entered 10 rate is automatically filled press end of list select tax ledgers and accept now let us create sales voucher for the customer select the name of the party here it is Purima. enter dispatch details accept party details select sales ledger enter name of item enter tracking number enter the quantity here i have entered two numbers rate is automatically filled press enter select tax ledgers and accept the voucher from gateway of tally select alter price list stock group click on revise price select the name of stock group here i have selected phones select price level here i have selected wholesaler enter the date in the applicable from field here i have entered 1st february 2022 that means we are going to revise the price with effect from 1st february 2022 in the revise price field we have five options first is not applicable then we have decrease by amount here we can specify a fixed amount to decrease the price then next option is decrease by percentage here we can specify a percentage by which the price can be decreased then increase by amount that is increase the price by a fixed amount and increase the price by a fixed percentage let us select decrease by percentage and enter two percent this means with effect from 1st February 2022, we are decreasing the price by 2%. Similarly, we can revise discount. That is, we can either decrease by percentage or increase by percentage. As we have not set any discount, let us select not applicable. You will get a message that the price list is updated. Press any key to continue. Now, if you notice here, we can see revised price as well as existing price. Revised price would be applicable from 1st February 2022. So if you create any sales vouchers from 1st February 2022, the revised price would be picked up for the purpose of sales voucher. 
if you notice here the existing price of 24000 is now revised to 23520 similarly the other prices have also reduced by 2% if you enjoyed this episode you may like and share the video subscribe to my channel for more videos on tally gst income tax etc thank you for watching